All right, so we got this Oregon Ducks blank here that I'm going to do up for myself, making this editor pen. We've got my 8 millimeter drill bit centered in here, so we're going to go ahead and get this drilled down. All right, and we're through. Take that out of there. All right, good clean cut on this end. Good clean cut on that end. Let's go get that tube put in. Now the tubes in these editor pens did not come pre-roughened up, so I just roughened this up with a little bit of 100 grit sandpaper. And we just test to make sure that passes all the way through. And indeed it does. So now all we've got to do is get some thick CA glue put on to the end of this thing and then we'll push it on through. that solidify and then that will be good to go. Our tube is all cured up, the glue is set on this Oregon Ducks editor pen so now we're going to just clean up this bit of glue that's here on the end that way it will fit onto my uh, my jig here and then what we'll do is we'll take each of these corners down 45 degrees um, just round them out that way it can spin freely on my jig and we'll get this going All right, so we got our tube all sanded up. It's going to seat nicely now. You can see we've got a nice yellow end on that end. And look at some of the swirl patterning we've got on this end. This is going to be really cool. I'm really excited to see what that looks like once we get it turned down. So, let's quit waiting around. Let's go get it done. All right, let's go ahead and get this editor pen turned. So I've got, you can see some of the 45s on here. You can see into what the pen is going to look like a little bit definitely have some yellow and green swirls through there so it's going to be a fun one let's get this going so I've got tool rest set up a little bit of down angle here and uh, we got the latest set to 3700 RPMs let's get to turning this thing up I got that turned down so let's go ahead and just touch this off with a little bit of 400 grit polishing paper all right that's good so I'm gonna get through my polishing pads and I'll see you guys back at the buffing wheel Okay, so we've got our buffing wheel set up here. We've got some uh, Triple E uh, Jewelers Rouge on there. We've got our 
blank polished all the way through 12,000 grit so we're just going to go ahead and touch this up on our wheel and get rid of any little buffing marks any small imperfections that that uh, we can't always see to the naked eye this just takes care of every single bit of those Flip that around. All right, and that's just the first wheel. You can already see much improved surface on there. Looking really nice. And then we just touch it off with some white diamond jewelers rouge. And this will just make this shine and pop and it'll just look fantastic. What a beautiful pen blank. Alright, let's go get this assembled. Now one thing I do like about the editor pen, it's very simple to put together. You don't really have to know a whole lot about it. Uh, it is, you know, both ends of these tubes are exactly the same thickness when you're all done turning them up. And there isn't really a front back because of the fact that the clip on this rotates on the head so it you don't have to decide which way you want to orientate and the clip also doesn't cover anything up so it's really a nice kit the only thing that you do have to know this bushing right here this tip threads off of this bushing so you want to have the tip in place so you don't damage the threads but you don't want to have it threaded all the way on tight you want to back it off about half a turn before you press that in. So I'm going to have that big bold yellow to the top and I want to have the greener section to my tip. So I'm going to tighten that down, make sure I go back about a half turn and then we'll press that in right there like that. wanting to bind up on me a little bit. There we go. And there, now I can tighten that down and it comes off because if you tighten it down with the tip all the way down then it will jam that in place, it will jam against the threads and you won't be able to get it off. It will be very very difficult to get off later. So now all we have to do, press in our back piece. Just like that. Now we can take off our tip. Take off the rubber piece on our nib, or on our ink, drop that in, take our spring, drop that on there, put our tip back on, and that pen's done. Real simple assembly, simple disassembly, it's real nice, really easy in order to change out the ink later when you need to, just twist that off, put the new ink in, save your spring. It's good to go. The cool thing about these is that you can write with it just like so. It's a real nice short small platform as it is. For my hands I prefer to take the cap, post it on the back, and then that feels like a proper pen length right there for me. So it's 
perfect for both style of hands. If you have small hands, you like it right with a shorter pen. It's really lightweight, real easy to hold and carry. If you like a longer pen, snap it on the back. Good to go when you're all done writing. Snaps right on the front. Really, really super simple, super easy pen to make, and absolutely beautiful.